I'm Gunnar Sjogren, and you're watching A Billion Bikes. <laughs> This particular bike has a, has a very troublesome looking spot on it right here. Um, this is a place where the bike has uh, skidded or something has happened and you can see that it's worn right here and even worse right in this spot here, the tire is completely uh, worn away. So for someone to ride uh, on a bike like this, you're looking for uh, getting a flat tire pretty quickly and possibly even the tire exploding. So. Uh, if you see a spot on the wheel like that, uh, that indicates the need for a, uh, a new tire. I have several other tires here that you can see um, uh, th that are in, in pretty bad condition. This one here, if you look closely, you can see, you can see little lines on it. That actually is the, shows that the uh, tire wall has totally worn off. And um, pretty good chance if this were inflated, that the tire would explode because the air inside is under pretty high pressure and is trying to get out any way it can. If there's a weakness in the wall, uh, the tube will explode through it. Here's another one that looks really bad when you see this kind of a sort of an X type pattern um, on the uh, wall of the tire. That indicates that the tire needs to be replaced. The tread itself uh, looks pretty good, but the wall of the tire is, is quite weak and um, wouldn't be a safe tire to ride on. Now, other things that when we're talking about safety, we want to make sure, we want to make sure that there's nothing structurally wrong with the bike, that there's no uh, cracks in the frame, that the frame isn't bent, uh, maybe it's been in an accident or something like that. It's just a matter of making um, observations just to make sure. We want to make sure that everything is aligned correctly in the bike. Uh, this part here is called a fork. The fork, uh, this fork is not bent. Uh, the fork sits geometrically in the center of the, of the bike. Uh, the tire is in the middle of the fork. As I look this uh, bike over, I don't see anything that would concern me as a structural problem. If I look places here where the different components of the bike come together and they're welded, I don't see any cracks here. I don't see any cracks here. I don't see any cracks down here. But I see a bike that has been ridden a lot. This is a bicycle that is a multi-speed bicycle. You have gears in the front and you have gears in the back. I'll just uh, move it around here so it's a little easier to see. Um, you have uh, a gear uh, derailleur here that moves the chain on the different gears in the front. Similarly, you have one in the back. And this all has to work according to the gears. The chain is what drives the bike and there are cables that connect the shifter in the front to these components in the back and enable the bike to change gears. Um, so I'm looking now at the condition of these derailleurs and as well as the chain. The chain looks to me to be pretty well worn, um, certainly in new need of lubrication. Um, uh, here is a problem that concerns me. Uh, if I look at this cable right here, it's actually broken. I'm going to have a problem making this bike shift properly without replacing that because that little piece there is, is uh, snapped off. So um, the rear wheel is all right. It uh, needs some adjustment of the spokes because if you look as I spin the wheel, you can see there's a little bit of a wobble of the wheel back and forth. It's significantly what's called out of true. Um, if you look at it and you look at the uh, brake pad on either side as the wheel is turning, you can see that the wheel is wobbling back and forth. And in fact, it's hitting the brake pad at one spot on the other side. So this is a wheel that needs to be trued. Uh, mechanics do this by um, uh, determining uh, that some of the spokes are probably too loose and others are too tight. Uh, the process of uh, truing a wheel is a matter of bringing the spoke tension back into balance so that uh, that wobble uh, goes away and the uh, wheel spins uh, nice and straight and doesn't uh, wobble from side to side like this one is doing here. So if I were going to true a wheel such as that one you just saw, I would uh, put it on this truing stand here and then uh, make some adjustments to the stand and then 
um, spin the wheel and and look at where it's uh, out of true. This one is this one is really bad. It is, can be easily seen. And I move these little calipers in from the side. And where I get a rub like that, what I would do is uh, add more tension to the spokes uh, that would tend to pull the rim in that direction and eliminate that rub. And continue working in from the sides like that, making small adjustments until the wheel is, uh, is perfectly true. Sometimes wheels actually are bent. A wheel that's bent is, uh, has to be replaced. It's a good idea to have a qualified mechanic actually do the work on your bike and, and check it over. Um, if you were going to buy a used car, uh, I'll bet you'd want to have a mechanic look at it because you would correctly uh, determine that uh, the mechanic would know more about the car than you would and could uncover problems that you might not. The same th thing is true of bicycles. We have people bring in bicycles all the time uh, that they bought, used bicycles that they bought or found and uh, uh, they may have bought it for $50 and they're very proud of it, but they don't realize until they come in that it's going to cost several hundred dollars to make the bike uh, rideable. So uh, it's smart to have someone who is knowledgeable take a look at a bike that you might be thinking about buying if you're not sure of the condition of it. So um, I certainly have enjoyed this session with you and uh, we uh, hope to uh, see you uh, in the future. Once again, I'm Bill Mould, um, Spokes, etc., Alexandria, Virginia. Uh, Enjoy your bicycle and ride safely above all else.